is a brotherhood. And if we stand strong together, we can't be denied. If one of us go down, we have another and another and another that's ready to fight. So let's hit this field and bang them. Bang them. Bang them. Somebody light me up. Hello Brownsburg High School, thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Friday, October 9th. I'm Alayla Reynolds. And I'm Gavin Ramsey, and here's what's going on at BHS. Students, as a reminder, your lanyards are to be properly worn around your neck with your ID card at all times while in Brownsburg High School. Please make sure to follow this expectation. Also, electronics including phones, earbuds, and headphones are not to be worn in the hallway. These items are allowed during lunch in the cafeteria only. Also, please continue to properly wear a mask at all times. This includes covering both your mouth and nose at all times. Proper hand washing for at least 20 seconds is also encouraged, as well as using hand sanitizer when needed. Thanks for helping keep BHS as safe as possible. You can get your pink out Brownsburg for TD shirt at the DECA store. The shirts are long sleeve and will be $20 and sold during all lunches. There is a limited supply, so be sure to get yours as soon as possible. Also, students are invited to head to the band wall at 5 p.m. tonight to make posters for the game tonight. You are encouraged to bring posters, markers, paint, and anything else to be creative. The stadium gates will open at 5.30 and there will be pizza. Students who show up to make the posters will be the first ones allowed into the tailgate with Wish TV tonight. The BHS Cafeteria will be celebrating National School Lunch Week this week. National School Lunch Week promotes the importance of a healthy school lunch in a child's life and the impact it has inside and outside of the classroom. The BHS Cafe will be celebrating with a raffle for a chance to win a free coffee of choice from The Grind. There will be five lucky winners daily. To participate, go to Rotation Station to enter to win. Fresh Pop Popcorn will also be for sale at Rotation Station for $1. Winners will be notified daily. Fall break starts after school today and it's going to be an interesting one. BHS TV's Jason Lochter spoke to students and counselors about their ideas for having fun while staying safe during the pandemic. It's difficult to believe that fall break is already almost here. As with any break, students have two weeks to fill and we wanted to find out how they'll be spending it. What are my plans for fall break this year? Well, with COVID and everything going on, there's not really much to do, so I'm probably just gonna go hang out with friends and sleep the entire time. For some, this year's fall break might be uneventful, but both BHS seniors and their counselors will still have quite a few things to take care of over break in order to prepare for college. For this year during fall break, I'm planning on getting back to spending a little bit of time with my family. I also plan to evaluate where students are um, academically to make sure that they're able to graduate on time. I'm going to be doing a road trip for colleges since I have a lot of decisions to make. So going to Nebraska and Kansas are big decisions for me. The college application process is not over for most students, but Mrs. Martin recommends some things for seniors to take care of during break. What I highly recommend for our seniors to do over the fall break is to sit down and go through all of their college applications. For those taking the SAT or ACT this fall, Mrs. Martin also recommends checking their respective websites for testing dates and registration. And if you completed the tests and want to send scores to colleges, you must do so through your account. Fall break is a great time to file your FAFSA as well and complete the FAFSA checklist you received from Mrs. Martin. Check FAFSA.gov for more information. It may be an odd year for fall break, but there's still plenty to do, and we hope both students and staff enjoy their break, and we look forward to seeing you again very soon. Jason Lochner, BHS TV. Thanks, Jason. It's nice to see what people here at BHS will be doing during the two weeks off, and we hope you will enjoy some fun fall activities as well. Now it's time for sports. Hey, Gabe, what do you have for us today? Hey guys, it has been another very successful week for BHS Athletics. And let's start with the boys tennis team who made history on Wednesday night. The guys hosted Zionsville and after a hard fought battle ended up with a 3-2 victory. And for the first time ever, Brownsburg boys tennis is your IHSAA regional champion. Great job guys. All three singles competitors won to pull the Bulldogs to victory. They will move on to the semi-state tomorrow at Center Grove and will take on Knightstown. Good luck. The girls' soccer team was in the sectional semifinal last night. After going in at the half tied 0-0, Haley Hoskins put up the only goal on the night in the second half to help secure the 1-0 victory. Goalkeeper Alana Dixon recorded another shutout for the Dogs, who will now take on Avon in the sectional championship tomorrow night. Good luck. 
After an incredible run down the stretch, the boys' soccer team season came to an end Wednesday with a 2-1 to one loss to Avon in the semifinals. Coach Brown said, This was a great group to coach who never quit and learned to compete. Thank you, seniors, for your leadership and example. Congrats on a great season, guys. Last night, the volleyball team headed to Noblesville to finish up the regular season. The varsity was dominant, winning in three sets. The dogs were led by Katie Floyd in blocks and Jalen Count in aces. Also, congrats to senior Kate Murphy, who recorded her 1,000th career assist. The volleyball sectionals will take place next week. All games will take place at Morrisville, and the dogs drew the Pioneers in the third match next Tuesday. The second round will take place next Thursday with the championship set for next Saturday, October 17th. The JV team came up short of the Millers, but were led by Abby Solenberger in kills and Peyton Hinkle in digs. They will head to the HSE JV Invitational tomorrow. Good luck. And the freshmen defeated the Millers 2-1. Bridget Goes had eight kills in the match, and Biza Keener and Georgia Gordon had three aces each. Cadence Garland added four kills and three blocks. That concluded the freshman season. Coach Griffin said she is so proud of this group and each girl that got better as the year went on. The IHSAA football tournament draw was last night and the dogs will travel to Avon in the first round on October 30th. And good luck to the cross country teams who will host sectionals tomorrow. That's it for sports today, back over to you guys. Thanks Gabe. Now let's check in with Dakota for a look at the weekend weather. Hey guys, it looks like it's going to be a very nice weekend in Brownsburg with higher than normal temperatures. Today, the high is of 84 with a low of 60 and it should be sunny all day long. Tomorrow will be partly cloudy, but the high will still be up around 80. And Sunday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 78 and a low of 62. Enjoy the nice weather. It should stay in the high of 60s throughout the first week of break. Back over to you guys. Thanks Dakota. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great fall break, be safe, and we will see you back here in a couple of weeks.